So as most photographers will know, turning up first thing at your location and seeing mist and fog across the fields, the old heart starts racing a little bit <laughs> and then panic sets in. Where do you shoot? What do you shoot at? What settings? How do I get my focus? Oh my God, I can't get my tripod level. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it was one of those. <laughs> It was one of those. Now, you know, I know this place inside out uh, and I knew where I was going to start this morning once I saw the mist and the fog across the trees um, because the sun rises this side of the fen and <sighs> there's a honey pot shot here. <laughs> it's a classic single lone tree on this farm track, ditch alongside and the sun rises directly behind it. So I knew this was going to be where I was going to park first thing. Now I turn up and there's, there's already two photographers here. They've just gone. A friend of mine, Paul Benz, and his friend, Kevin, I think. Um, yeah, they were already here. Tripods out taking the shot, unsurprisingly. But it looks gorgeous. It really looks gorgeous. The sun is rising now. There's a lot of contrails in the sky, which doesn't really help the shot, but never mind. It's gorgeous. And I'm hoping now that the the mist and the fog is going to be inside the trees because that's where I'm going to venture now but for now this first shot was simply this honeypot tree ditch misty sky below the tree sun rising bit of warmth I captured it pre-sunrise and then just post sunrise pre-sunrise was with a wider shot post sunrise was cropped in a bit further landscape sun on the right tree on the left Good start to the day. Oh, yes, I'm looking forward to this. Right, come on, let's crack on before that mist disappears. I'm getting on my nerves this morning. Getting on my own nerves. Faffing around. Faffing around trying to get parked. Which sounds a bit weird because I know all the bloody spaces around here, but I'll tell you why. Public service announcement. There's a road closure on the North Road, the uh, Posts Road off of Hodfin Road, which means I have to come down to the Southern section, park here. And I'm in Jackson's Covet rather than Middle Covet. And I parked the wrong end like an idiot, so I've just walked all the way through. I was actually hoping to get, if there was some mist and fog laying on the lake, because there's a, there's a small mere here in Jackson Covet, but there wasn't anything, so I've had to come out to the outside section where the mist and fog's still hanging around. Now I'm getting annoyed at myself because the mist is slowly disappearing and I've not got a shot. <laughs> oh, third world problems, eh? Oh, dear. Right, come on, Jamie. Sort your life out. Right, there's still quite a bit hanging over there. Sun's rising. <sighs> yeah, come on. And relax. Such a beautiful morning. I'm getting all stressed. I shouldn't do. Oh. Right. The mist and fog is still around. A smile on my face, because I'd have been so annoyed if by the time I got here it all disappeared. And walking out into the open, you immediately spot just a simple track into the mist. Sun rising uh, above it, just hidden behind the trees, so it's not directly into the camera, but it's diffused by the mist and fog. Reeds on either side, focused on the reeds in the foreground, 
f5.6 nothing needs to be in focus because it's in the fog and mist just literally disappearing into nothingness really nice simple shot really nice shot actually i quite like the simplicity of it it's just really nice a little bit of warmth with the sun rising and i'm already spotting now another composition over there <sighs> ah right come on let's go I'm enjoying this. Such a beautiful morning, it really is. So still, sun's now coming up and it's quite warm now. I'm getting hot. Those of you that wear glasses will probably understand this challenge that we have, that walking around this time of morning, high humidity, sweating, and of course your glasses keep steaming up. I tend to keep mine on the top of my head, you've seen quite a lot. And then I pull them down, talk about fog can't see a thing constantly cleaning my glasses <laughs> and I'm finding myself this morning now thinking that I really haven't done this morning justice but you know this is just the first of hopefully many foggy misty mornings here as we head into autumn um, I <laughs> stopped and took some pictures of a backlit uh, spider's web with reeds coming through I don't normally do that, but I did, it looked nice. You might have seen it. And now I'm all of a sudden drawn to one single silver birch in the middle of the ferns, which has got a bit of a frame around it with these real um, you know, thin branches that are coming down from the trees here in front. Straggly branches, gnarly little branches just playing with this composition. I'm not really sure whether it works. Um, the, the, you know, there's always got to be something that attracts you to take the shot and the tree just stood out on its own around, um, as I say, ferns on the base. It's a bit harsher now, the sun, but when I first took it, the, uh, the mist was still in the background, a little bit of sun directly on the trunk of the tree and it just stood out a bit. I don't think it's a fantastic shot, but it just it just caught my eye. I framed it with these little branches in the front. They've got some leaves that are starting to turn, oranges and yellows. And I've, I've opened up the aperture on this lens at the widest it goes, f5.6, just focused on the tree. So these little branches and leaves are all out of focus around the top of the frame. It may well be a distraction. I don't know, we'll see. And it'll be a square crop, whatever happens. Um, took another couple back there, actually just over here. Same leaves, just starting to turn to yellows and orange, um, three birch trees in a row. Um, that one looked quite nice. Again, just getting a slight bit of mist coming through. Just had a tiny bit of atmosphere. Yeah, I'll show you those now, but I'm gonna walk back. There's still, there's still plenty of mist hanging around. You might be able to see. And I do like, I'll tell you what I like. I like the difference in colors between the silvers, the greens and the blues. Obviously looking this way towards the sun, it's more of an orangey tone. Uh, looking that way, away from the sun, you've got the, the, the blues of uh, underneath the trees where the fog still is in the mist. And then you've got the silver of the, um, the tree trunks. And then at the moment, still the green of the ferns, but that'll soon turn to the oranges and the yellows. I just like that color difference. So I'm gonna head back that way, face that way and see if I can get some shots, maybe just sort of blue and green tones I think that look quite nice. But I'm gonna head off before that mist disappears completely so have a look at these and I'll hopefully see you back around the corner.
So I've got you perched awkwardly up on the bird hide here behind, but there's not a lot of space here. But I was just about to stop and do a final piece to camera and uh, thought I'd have a look over the lake. And although the mist is gone, there's a really still, calm lake near here and gorgeous reflections. And across the other side of the lake, there's a, there's a row of reeds. You can see them here. Uh, and the reflections of the reeds look really, really nice. And because it's so still, it's just mirror-like. So I've literally just gone in at uh, 400 mil on this lens. And it's a sort of very abstract shot, just the, the strip of the reeds across the middle. Um, and then the reflection top and bottom, there's a little bit of color in some of the trees. Yeah, it's just a really simple shot, but I quite like it. In actual fact, <laughs> weird to say after all this fog and mist, but you know, I just think it might be my favorite shot of the morning. <laughs> um, we'll see, but no, I really like it. It's just a little bit different. And yeah, just something really nice to sort of finish up on really. So let me show you it now. Well, I don't think I did this morning justice, if I'm honest. We'll see, I might have a couple of, couple of keepers out this morning. Glorious conditions, absolutely glorious. But I do think I was panicking a bit. I think I was panicking and it's my fault, completely my fault. But I did decide first thing that I was gonna to come to Jackson's Covert um, and the area over the back, which opens up a bit. It's quite nice to wander around and there was loads of fog there, but I just struggled, struggled with compositions. I found myself going a bit tighter, a little bit more intimate, which is fine. And as I say, some of those shots might have come out quite nicely. But as I say, I just can't help thinking that I've missed some really good opportunities this morning. Be interesting to see how Paul and Kevin got on. Uh, they were heading, I think they were heading into middle. I think is I didn't, I've done the middle area quite a lot in the mist as well. So I wanted to try something different. It's always nice to get a little bit, you know, a different perspective on this place in different conditions. So I have enjoyed it, absolutely, thoroughly enjoyed it. But I am now gonna head back, I think. Um, just before I do though, I just wanna, I just wanna I go, I guess, give a little bit of an update about where my head is with the channel and myself, really. Um, you know, over the years, I've, I guess I've, evolved into being more of a woodland photographer than any other genre you know i do like going to the sea and i've done sea seascape work if you want to call it that um and i've done the odd mountain or two um not that often though but most of my time is spent in the woodland and that's because it's so accessible for me for where i live on this side of the country in the east and you know when i started this channel what three and a half years ago whenever it was now three years ago you know it was very much focused on the fins uh, and obviously that's where i still am so you know that hasn't changed but i was doing more you know mixed photography mixed landscape photography when i started showing people the area of the fins and i do feel now that i'm starting to hone in on just purely local woodland but i'm just letting you guys know that that's that's where this channel's probably gonna you know morph into it's going to be very much around woodland photography and nature photography as well you know woodland and nature i think go hand in hand um and i really want to concentrate on that area i do i really enjoy it i find it a challenge but i find it really you know thoroughly rewarding when you can get some nice woodland shots um so yeah it doesn't mean i'm not going to do mountains and streams and seascapes in fact <laughs> uh, next weekend i'm heading up to the lakes so uh, I will definitely have some mountains and streams, no seascapes, um, and there'll probably be trees, to be honest. So yeah, look out for that one in the next couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, as I said, I just wanted to make you guys aware that's where this channel seems to be heading now, whether that's good for you or not. Well, I guess that's up to you guys, but uh, I do really appreciate all your support over the years. I hope you enjoy what I do. I hope you enjoy seeing this part of the world. And I hope you enjoy seeing me sort of gradually, you know, evolve into this genre of photography that I'm really enjoying. And, you know, as I do more of it, hopefully I'll get better at it and better at it and can share, you know, what I learn with you guys along the way, really. So yeah, I just wanted to give that a bit of an update. So on that note, I'm gonna disappear now. 
photo show tomorrow. It's Saturday today, Sunday tomorrow I'm going to the photo show. So if I do or have bumped into any of you at the uh, show, then good to see you. Um, and then as I say, next weekend up at the lakes and I'm really looking forward to that. A um, bit more news on that to come. Um, so yeah, but until then, thanks for watching this morning. Hope you've enjoyed this um, and I will see you on the next one. You take care and I'll see you soon.